I've recorded myself like three or four times now and it's not working. I'm making videos, here we go. So, quite a lengthy putt, but it is still a putt at birdie. Haven't done any putting on the flat screen, so this could be a bit wild. Break. At zero break. Oh, well. One of my goals today was to uh, not hit any three putts. So, could ruin that in the first hole and three putt the first. Right, that didn't move at all, so I'm kind of just going right edge now and hoping that I'll just sneak this one here in. Nope, pulled it. And there is a three putt to start off my return to YouTube golf. Right, so put that hole behind me. This hole, another par five, quite short. The first two par fives here are quite short. Um, about 440 yards, SI 15, I believe. So, I get a shot here for like this hole I love to go big left so hopefully this will go straight no big left lovely big left well I've been down there so many times that I know I'm right For some reason then, my mic didn't work, but I hit an absolute peach, and I'm just in front of the green right now. I'm up front of the green, I've got a chance to chip this close, and then have a putt for par, which would put me one under my handicap. Before I put it down, I zoom in here. Got some backspin. <laughs> Ignore the amount of sniffing that I'm doing, I'm just not doing anything illegal. Just got a hellish cold, like everyone else in Britain at the minute. It's freezing. So I'm gonna have a pitching wedge bump and run. I think that's the play. Oh, I like that. Stop. Ah, oh, it didn't bite at all. But okay. But it is a part for par. I'm gonna keep the camera back there. So you can watch my sexy ass walk away. Hard mess. Oh, lip. Mama. Alright, so, bogey parts. Tapping away. There we go. So, two bogeys to start off my round. Two par fives. Really, I should be paring, but in the handicap world, I'm playing the handicap, so positive, not a bad start, not a good start, but doing alright. Right, so now we've got a par 3 SI7, so again, I do get a shot here. I'm gonna try to ping the flag. 183 at the flag, see it's going right to left, but I'm going to just aim for the right edge of the green, and I'm probably going to pull hook it massively left, but it's not my idea. Right. Right, so 
upright, so a lot of my mates have probably seen me in this position before, but I am left. Oh, so I made the green right there. So I've got a par attempt, but it is a long way. And see my putting in the first two holes. I don't have a lot of chance of making this. Right, so here we go. Let's see if we can save a par and stop this birdie train at the minute. Birdie train? I wish. Bogey train at the minute. So two parts would be still to handicap. That's got to settle down. Oh, far left there now. Oh no! Oh no! Out. And it's a double bogey, which means I'm one over handicap, four over in total. Oh, so fucking good. I fit it so well, but it's left. So walking up to the screen now, might as well have a little chat. So why did I stop doing YouTube a while back? is the main question, which my one or two viewers are probably gonna ask. I just got bored of it. And I think I put too much pressure on myself to get more views and care about the views rather than the actual love for editing and making videos and enjoying it. So the reason why I've come back is because I wanna kinda of get that love for the game again and actually enjoy filming. I don't really care about views. I'm going to make some good content. This is probably terrible, but it should get better and better. Hundred and thirty nine yards wind behind. Probably a nine iron. Smooth nine iron I reckon. So you should want to do better than your handicap or par the worst, but just want to get it on the green. And two part hopefully. Or pull the absolute Jesus off it left. Yeah. I love to pull the ball. So yeah, I took two years away from YouTube. In that time, I kind of stopped playing a lot of golf as well. Um, for a year, I pretty much played every now and again. And then last year, I pretty much missed the whole year. Um, I played once every two months with the society guys. We went on tour up to the Vale, but I could probably count on two hands the amount of times that I played golf last year. And then in October, I joined up St. Melian and started playing again. Two months of absolute garbage. And then I'm just starting to get back into it now. There's little glimmers of how I used to play, but also some real bad stuff in between. But I'm back, I'm back playing. That's the main thing. On this little lie here, hopefully fly it halfway there, and it stop. Look at me thinking that I could play shots like this. I think I get on the green and get close. Oh, 
Ah, it's not bad, it's not good, it's not bad though, but it's a chance, it's a chance at powering it. How beautiful is it here today as well? Couldn't ask for better conditions this time of year and views, so nice. I'm going to save that part. Nope. Not to go, Josephine. Well, got a bogey part. Could be a lot worse. But we've got a bogey. So. So, I've made a bit of a rookie error, but things like this are going to happen when you haven't filmed for two years and I forgot my charging pack and I've only got about 20% left on the camera if that and I'm not going to last a lot longer so I'm going to wrap up this hole and then switch back to my office and tell you how I finished the round. So I'll give a quick summary of my round and I'll post it hopefully somewhere around here as well. So when I'm talking about it, you can see it. So yeah, I started the round with two bogeys. Um, wasn't my best start, but I take two bogeys. Moved on to the third with a double bogey. So on a handicap, I was one over. And then I parred, bogeyed, parred, and then bogey, bogey, parred for my way in. By the time the video stopped, I just parred the sixth hole, which is the hardest hole on St. Melian, which I'm quite chuffed with. Moving on to the back nine, I actually didn't really do much wrong to my handicap at the minute. I mean, I'm playing at a, I think I get 15 shots at um, St. Melian. So I actually hit two under my handicap, having an 83, 13 over. And I just bogeyed six holes on the back. And I started striking the ball a lot better. A lot of people will tell you at St. Melian, the back nine on the Kerno is a lot easier than the front nine. Um, and it definitely shows in my score here so all in all I'm quite happy with my score and um, a bit annoyed that I didn't um, manage to record the whole way around but it is what it is and maybe having a shorter video for the first one is uh, a little bit easier easier to edit and uh, easier to watch I guess watching less of my crap shot I made some uh, rookie mistakes and didn't take a charger for my uh, camera and my mics, I didn't really test them properly. That's kind of the first test, but two years out of YouTube and um, I'm gonna make little mistakes like this and that here and there. The whole point of the video was just to kind of get a feel back into it and like kind of shake off some cobwebs. You'll probably see that it wasn't smooth or the most best video ever going out, but kind of enjoyed it and I hope you guys did too.